This video is from a course on Amazon Aurora PostgreSQL. This is part two of the video on Aurora Serverless V2. In this video, you will see Aurora Serverless V2 in action. Link to part one is in the description. In this hands-on exercise, we'll convert the provisioned cluster to mixed configuration cluster. And then we will delete the provisioned instance in the cluster to convert to a full serverless cluster. Instructions used in this lesson are available in the readme.md file under the subfolder serverless. So we will be using our RDSA Postgres cluster. So make sure that the cluster is either upgraded to version 13.6 or you may delete the cluster and recreate it with version 13.6. We'll carry out this exercise in two parts. In part one, we'll convert our provisioned RDSA PostgreSQL cluster to a mixed configuration cluster. We'll do it by adding a serverless V2DB instance to the cluster as a reader. I already have a cluster which is at version 13.6. And as you can see here, I have one provisioned instance of size dbt3 medium. To add a reader, select the cluster, action, and add reader. Set the DB instance identifier to RDSA PostgreSQL serverless dash one. Scroll down to instance configuration, select serverless v2, set the capacity range between two and eight ACU. Under the additional configuration, uncheck the enable performance insights and click on add reader. At this time, the reader is getting created. Under the size, we see serverless v2 and we also see the capacity range. Creation of the instance will take a few minutes. At this time, the serverless instance is ready and our cluster is in mixed configuration. Let's move on to part two. In part two, we'll convert the mixed configuration cluster to a true serverless cluster. We'll do it by deleting the provisioned instance and adding a serverless v2 db instance as a reader. We will be able to connect to the serverless cluster using a bastion host and there won't be any change in the behavior. I leave the third step as an exercise for you. Select the provisioned instance, click on actions, delete, confirm by typing delete me and click on delete. The instance is now getting deleted. To add a reader, select the cluster, actions, add reader, set the name of the reader as RDSA PostgreSQL serverless dash two, crawl down in the instance configuration, set the instance class as serverless v2. So you will observe that this time we did not have to provide the capacity range as the range has already been set up at the cluster level with the addition of the first serverless instance. Scroll down, uncheck enable performance insights and click on add reader. The provisioned instance is now deleted and our serverless reader is getting created. Let's give it a few minutes. Reader is now available. And at this point, we have a cluster which has a serverless writer and a serverless reader. As a next step, we may connect to this cluster and we won't observe any change in behavior. But if we'll run a load against the cluster, we'll see the instances scale up and down based on the load. We will use this cluster setup in the next hands-on lecture. So in order to avoid charges, I'm going to stop this cluster by selecting the cluster and stop. Now keep in mind, the instances will automatically be started after seven days. So if you plan to take a long break, I suggest that you delete all the serverless instances in the cluster and delete the cloud formation stack, RDSA-PostgreSQL. That way, you won't incur any charges. 